Eastern Communications Product and Innovation. Thank you very much, Katie. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Again, first of all, thank you very much for spending your uh, afternoon with us. And uh, yeah, well, we've seen earlier the uh, high touch and the high tech and our strong connection uh, when Eastern Communications. From the high touch, or from the high touch, where the human connection is actually at the, you know, at the centerpiece of uh, of our business, that human touch is actually reflected as well in how we create product and transitioning towards a more high tech company. So that high tech and high touch is basically or are basically um, reflected in how we create new products, and hence we call product innovations. Technology is always there in the market; it's still available. Um, around us, but what's important for EDPI, for Eastern, is how to make these new technologies matter to our clients, to our customers. So, as such, we are creating these new products, we are launching these new products, such as customer-centric, ano kailangan ng cliente, ano kailangan ng market? Is that because the competition has it? Is that simply because we have the technology, but basically these are, drive, or these are driven by the customer requirements that we want to serve? Okay, now, um, we have here a few um, products um, available with EPPI, um, ranging from our core solutions, uh, security and cybersecurity solutions, um, managed services, and uh, basically, we have the cloud and the infra solutions as well. Clients love Eastern because of the quality of our service. Okay, um, something uh, whenever Eastern is present, clients would prefer us to be their, uh, their provider for connectivity. And as such, we in EDPI want to capitalize that strength of being good or best in services as such that these new services are hinged towards managed services. So expanding more and more, exploring the market, there is a blue ocean, existing red ocean, what are these existing technologies that would further enrich our managed services to affect or to, to benefit our clients. We have um, global data services. This is basically the one that connects Philippines to the world via Ethernet connections. More details about that later. Um, the DDoS protection or the anti DDoS that's actually part of our cybersecurity suite. And um, our uh, participation or our play in cloud, um, cloud solutions. Uh, we are launching the Microsoft Azure virtual machines. Uh, as our infra as a service and Office 365 as our software as a service solution. And lastly, we have the managed SD1 and uh, the managed Wi-Fi mesh, again, to further enrich our managed services uh, portfolio. Now, what's this GDS or global data services? Uh, we have three different components of the global data services. The first is we have the IPLC. Um, sorry, it's a bit too technical, but that's our existing product that is based on circuit switch domain. Um, then the new products that we are launching as part of the global data services are the Ethernet International Private Line, that's EIPL, and the Global MPLS. MPLS that's a, basically a connectivity of different businesses, different offices, a lot of branches together. Okay? And now expanding our reach to outside the Philippines via the Ethernet connection, that is our approach. It is Ethernet based, Ethernet International Private Line, and the global MPLS. Ano difference ito sa existing product? First of all, mas madali, let's say our client now wants an upgrade from the existing 100 Mbps. Tomorrow they want 200, they want 200 Mbps. It's very easy for us to do the first or to do the upgrade of the capacity, um, which is very much different from the circuit switch based solution. And what is that ETPI advantage? What's our advantage? Global connectivity, we have partnership with several global carriers. And as we bring our Ethernet connection, the Ethernet connection for our clients to the world, um, we are, again, as I mentioned, highly scalable. We offer protected and unprotected solutions, so it depends on the client requirements. And most importantly is the level of our service levels, or our SLA. SLA offered by Eastern is a par with the SLA offered by the different global carrier. And as such, our SLA is actually a combination of the Eastern's SLA commitment, service level agreement commitment, together with the commitment of our partners from 
across the world. Okay, so that's uh, the global data services, and this is very important for multi-branch or clients, specifically with international offices, international branches, banks, ICT, BPOs, manufacturing, even retail industry. Um, the next one is we have, this is actually part of our cybersecurity solution, um, DDoS, ano ba yung DDoS? Uh, distributed Denial of Service. Isipin natin parang, come to think of it as an airline seat sale. Diba, may in-announce. Pamilyang gabi, mayroong seat sale ang isang airline. So what, what, what do we do? What the, the, the people, you know, expect are anticipated to, to do? Everybody waits for, everybody waits for 12 midnight, everybody logs in the internet and try to access their website sabay-sabay tayo mag-login. And if their website, if that airline website or the internet capacity is not capacitized to handle this huge traffic, tutuko yan. Maglalagin ka pala or ay open mo pala yung website nila, hindi ba ko open? Or the open mo, hindi, hindi ka na makapag-search na available browse. The same is true for online shopping as well. There are from time to time online shopping happening, right? And if, uh, let's say, at the, at the peak of the 12 midnight, everybody starts to log in, then that's always the experience of us, consumers, accessing the websites whose internet, whose infra are not capacitized to handle such huge traffic. Take note that these transactions are valid. Lahat tayo, yung transaction natin valid. Uh, ano yun? Um, legit transactions. And that's what, that's what the DDoS is like as well. This is basically a huge volume of valid transactions that are targeted towards the web, towards the internet, towards the IT infra, in it just in order for them to cripple down the business. So, magpapansin natin, what's, what's, what's a bet in the business? Low conversion rate, definitely. Low customer satisfaction, and that's how we help. What is the Eastern advantage in here? It's not only the web protection, we do the infra protection, we do the internet protection, we have the IP protection, and we have the 24 by 7, two layers of 24 by 7 management. 24 by 7 here in the Philippines with our services operations center, and then 24 by 7 of our partner, um, their security operations center. It says here, that according to statistics, 96% of the web apps are vulnerable. Vulnerable towards hacks, towards I mean, that one, I mean, yung mga, yung mga attacks that endangers the data privacy, um, as I mentioned, DDoS, etc. And according to statistics by uh, one of the research companies, more than half, uh, more than 50% of the traffic over the internet are actually non-humans or only half is the human traffic. Around 19% are good bots, and around 29% are bad bots. Bad bots responsible for the DDoS attacks. What we want, if you are a website administrator or an IT owner okay, of, of, of that domain in your company, what you want or what we want is to allow traffic, the, the good human traffic, the non malicious traffic, and the good bots. Good bots, like for example, the big good bots, copyright bot, spider bot, Yes. Uh, data bot. Let's say you, you, you get your phone, talk to your phone, hey, what's the weather today? Hey, can you play me, can you open, uh, you know, uh, play me this song, blah, blah, blah. And in one instant, automatically our phone plays that song. At that instant, our phone knows what is the weather today. And that's the data bot. Okay? We don't want data bot to be filtered out by our protection system. Only the, those bad bots, zombie bot, and all the other bots that are responsible for the DDoS attacks. And hence, Eastern Solution covers volumetric protection from all those volumetric attacks, attacks um, mimicking several protocols, attacks to our application or to the websites. And as mentioned earlier, it's complemented by our 24 by 7 services, security, services operations center and 24 by 7 security operations center. And what's our advantage? We are based in the cloud of 40 data centers globally. And uh, kung titignan natin yung history ng DDoS protection, in fact, the biggest DDoS, uh, DDoS attack ever recorded was Q1 lang this year. It reached to about more than two terabits per second attack, that size of DDoS. And with our five TPPS capacity, 
we are assuring our clients, the banking industry, the retail industry, the gaming, uh, the gaming uh, customers, and all others with uh, high risk uh, against the DDoS attacks. With our, you know, with our five PPPS protection against those high volume of attacks. Um, if we review the, re if we review the, or we check the, the review of Gartner and Forrester Wave, our solution actually belongs to the MQ, the Magic Quadrant, in the first, the first quadrant, where we are strong when it comes to the strategy and we're strong when it comes to the product offering. Synapic product offering, um, as we are offering the cybersecurity solution of DDoS protection end to end. Okay. Um, Another new product that I'd like to introduce is our play in the cloud. So we have the IaaS, Infra as a Service, and we have the SaaS, the Software as a Service. So what we want is, sabi nga, digital transformation is a hype. Everybody wants to digital transform. I mean, it's a bit of digital transformation. A lot of approaches, a lot of strategies around that. <laughs> But what's important is these companies that engage themselves towards digital transformation, a common denominator jan, they play in the cloud. And if you don't innovate, something, if you don't innovate, if you don't do the digital transformation, you'll be left isolated. And as such, companies want fast. Ang gusto ng mga kumpanya natin, okay, Excel kailangan ko ng server ngayon. Kailangan ko mag-expand ng but expand ng, 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 ng storage ko bukas kagad. Or let's say, sabi natin, online shopping. Yung online shopping, magkakaroon ng seat sale three days from now. And the online shopping happens for two or three days only. What, do they, what, do they, what will they do? If we don't have the cloud, they will definitely boost their servers, magdadagdag ng memory, magdadagdag ng storage, o problemahin ko ano yung location, even the cooling, and all other, you know, all other peripherals in the data center. But with this in the cloud, in the sum of a second, after enrollment, we can already give them on the fly expanded hardware, expanded memory, expanded storage, and all others. Okay, that's uh, basically we're using the Microsoft Azure virtual machines, and uh, as part of our modern connectivity or modern workplace connectivity as well is our offering of the Office 365. Again, it's part of our service app, software as a service solutions. Um, kita natin dito, ano ba yung iniiwasan natin, ano ba yung what do we want to, you know, to get away with is the lengthy time for us to talk about, to, to worry about the licenses, storage and delivery setup, the power, the cooling, the mechanical and electrical connections, and everything. So with the, with the Microsoft Virtual uh, Machines or Microsoft Azure Virtual Machines, we can do that in a stop of a second. So it's speed is actually the new currency now. This according to, uh, okay, it's not in here, but basically speed is the new currency now. Um, if you are not that fast enough to provision whatever resources you want, then definitely baka, baka hindi natin ma-meet yung the ever-changing business requirements. Why is this third? What differentiates us from the rest? Again, it's the way ETPI, the way Eastern delivers our service. It's the human connection, it's the high batch uh, applied in our high tech solutions. Expanding more towards um, the managed services, we have the managed SD1. Uh, so, I think more on services that we are offering, really services based offering to our clients. Managed SD1. SD1 is uh, so mga tech sabi dito, um, SD1 is the software defined one. Or that's actually the first salvo in a software defined network. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? May mga endpoints. Pag sinabi natin endpoints yung mga router sa dulo, yung mga firewall sa dulo, etc. May mga endpoints na kailangan ma-deploy mo physically. And this is the best example. You have a branch, you, you own a business, you have a lot of branches, and like for example, the change yung, the policy yung company, the IT policy yung company, that all the branches dapat mayroong firewall bukas. Or dapat bukas, bukas agad-agad din, i-change the configuration ng lahat ng routers natin all across the Philippines. Imagine if you were the IT head of a bank, or of a pawn shop, or of a retail industry uh, company that manages all the different branches across the Philippines. Kailangan merong, merong, merong mandate 
kailangan bukas mag-change ka ng configuration. Kailangan bukas mag-deploy ka ng firewall. We cannot do that without anybody flying in there or everybody in the office logging in remotely sa lahat ng mga branches. What if the branch is 500 plus, 1,000 plus? More than 2,000 branches is not very easy. And hence, with Eastern's managed SD1 software defined one, it's easy for us to deploy configuration. It's even easy for us to deploy firewall without deploying physical firewall at the site as long as we have the edge router already deployed in our branches. So that's basically one of the benefits of the managed SD1. So virtualized network function. Hindi mo na kailangan maglagay ng physical hardware for all other functionalities doon sa endpoints natin. Aside from that, sinabi natin kanina about developing products that are customer-centric. Uh, ano ba kailangan ng, ano ba kailangan ng negosyo? Ano ba kailangan ng market? Ano ba kailangan ng kliyente natin? Our clients, this is generic. Our clients have been asking for more bandwidth. With the ever-changing or ever-increasing requirement for the bandwidth, more and more clients are asking for updates, kailangan nilang i-optimize yung bandwidth subscription nila, etc. They want better network resiliency. They want visibility to their network. If you're in hand, you want all the network connections across your network, dapat visible sa'yo. Uh, minsan, isa rin sa mga pain points yung isa lang yung available operator sa sa'yo. Isa lang yung available CS. Custom Communication Service Provider Society. With the managed SD1, this is a revolutionary technology that Eastern is offering to our clients that will be able to address lower IT costs, address resiliency, uh, operational efficiency, um, moving away from you know having only a single provider and all the other market pain points in the game. All right. Um, so what's the what's the Eastern advantage? As I mentioned, we have the routing aware. So, best example na lang, kung routing aware, limbaw, you have a branch, the branch has multiple internet connection. You have a uh, internet connection via, via premium internet, meron kang internet connection via uh, FTTX, fiber to the home or fiber to the premises, meron kang internet connection, limbaw, wala talagang internet connection na, na fixed line. We are using LTE, for example. So, with these different connections or connectivities available in your branch, with a, with a software-defined one, maglalagay lang si Eastern kami ng router sa dulo and we can automatically select what particular application needs to pass to which connect connection. So if we are, for example, using uh, a premium internet for our premium applications, only premium applications must pass through that premium connectivity, right? Since that premium connectivity is, sabihin natin, is that very, is that very cheap? Is that very cheap? You use that for premium application. And for other non-critical applications, padaanin mo ngayon sa mas murang connectivity. Meron kang YouTube, meron kang Facebook, meron kang just internet browsing. Don't, don't, you know, don't pass, or don't route those applications in, you know, in a high, or uh, I should say, mas mahal na connect connections available. So this route aware and all other, uh, all other benefits of the SD1 are actually our promise to our clients. We offer, we promise security, we promise um, efficiency, and we promise more bandwidth, or I should say, optimization of their existing bandwidth investments. All right, and um, lastly, we have the managed Wi-Fi mesh. This is, again, another revolutionary technology available in the market today. And Eastern is offering this as part of our solution towards residential uh, SMEs, the emerging markets. Um, marami yung tatanong sa amin, ano bang difference daw nito doon sa Wi-Fi extender? Sabi nga natin dito, in the drawing here, you see a big, very big house with a very huge lawn out there. What is the market pain point that we want to address? Zero, zero out of the dead spots, zero coverage. Like for example, in our homes, even if our homes is not that big, but sometimes because of the bricks, because of the walls, because of the structure of the house, minsan sa loob ng CR wala kang Wi-Fi. Minsan sa patio wala kang Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi mesh as part of our standard solution for our resi clients and our SMEs that we're able to address the customer pain. Gano'ng kalaki, gano'ng kalawag yung kaya niyang i-offer? Around 3,000 to 5,000 square feet. That's around one. 
500 to 700 square meters of coverage if we have up to 10 remote units connected to a single node. It is very easy. It's very easy to manage. It's very easy to manage. And in fact, one of the features of our managed Wi-Fi mesh is alimbawa meron kang bisita sa bahay. Normally, iba yung SSID natin hidden. So if you have a guest in your house and somebody wants to connect to your internet, and let's say this is this is the one of the boxes yung Wi-Fi mesh namin, you just have to tap it. Yung yung mga tao na malapit sa kanya automatically yah alam niya na So it is that simple. It's it's simple and yet it's very effective. It's very it's very effective. It's very attractive to our clients. There are some other benefits, but uh, uh, like for example, kapag kaya may Wi-Fi extender ka di bawa sa bahay. Ano kaya pa paano mo ina pa paano kilo configure yung Wi-Fi extender? Magkakonfigure ka, nagibalay. Magkakonfigure mo, magkakonfigure ka ng mga ibang SSID, right? For example, in your house, your SSID is Wi-Fi 1. In your extender, your SSID is Wi-Fi 2. And the difference to the Wi-Fi mesh? In Wi-Fi mesh, you have a single SSID. There is no reconnection if you if you move from one uh, if you move from one um, box serving serving you towards another ano, another router or extender serving you. That's basically the difference. Or means kapag ka extender, di ba, kailangan mag-reconnect ka pa. And these are the pain points that we are trying to solve. So that sums up uh, the new products that Eastern is offering, and basically uh, how we map it in our portfolio. We have the core, that's our niche product, and as mentioned earlier, because of our commitment to high touch, because of our commitment to expand our, ser our services-based uh, solutions, then we have the cyber security solutions, managed security solutions, we have the cloud and info solutions, and cutting across these is the managed services uh, portfolio. Thank you very much, and... Uh... Thank you, thank you, Sir Ansel.